Hey folks, Larry from Achieving Reality, the podcast. Have you been trying to figure out what subscription box to sign up for? If you're a movie buff, then I've got what you need, baby. Horror Pack. For just $19.99 each month, you'll get three DVDs and an exclusive. Or you can spend $24.99 and snag three Blu-rays and an exclusive each month. Just go to HorrorPack.com and pick your plan. Now, you've been told what to do, so go do it. HorrorPack.com But it had, it had, but it had two point something acres though. Was it? Well, that's great. If that was on ten acres, I'd be okay with it. So, exactly. So hmm? it's like a, it's like basically taking a shed and putting it out on a field. Yeah, it's a tiny house on a football field. But you like tiny houses? I do like them on as on TV. Well, no, I I wouldn't mind living in one, but I do. I would need like you four. Would? No, I do. <laughs> I oh. live in a tiny space. Basically, it's like living in an IKEA. Let's eat balls. <laughs> That's a you problem. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Achieving Realities, the podcast. Yeah, this is Klaus. I am doing this this time because Larry says he does not want to do it tonight. So he says that I can go ahead and do it, which is fine, because I like doing this stuff. It's fun, and they don't allow me out of the basement very much, except to do the very good uh, cooking video. Okay, so this week, uh, the boys, Larry, ooh, and Chris, I talk Kulk, Kulk? No, I'm sorry. Hawk Ultimate Un Smurios What I said that is Smurios? I, I do not know what the Smurios is Un The Metal News Which I should probably do like Larry does uh, Hold on uh, Metal News That just sounds weird So, okay So, uh, sit back, uh, relax And enjoy this episode of Achieving Reality The Podcast uh, uh, They will see you at the end yeah. You Ooh. just have to learn how to make maybe, them. Maybe I'll go down and get some Oscar Myers and grind a weapon and make meatballs. There, there you go. There you go. See, you learned something from Guga already. Yeah. Now you just got to do it. It's pretty fun. But then you have to figure out the sauce, that special sauce they use. No, you Unless mean, you go to Ikea. And you, do you, own, you do what you own stuff. Yeah. Oh, they you make, make uh, you can just buy packets to make Swedish meatball gravy. No, you make it your own thing. Why are you making your own? That's true. Mexican meatballs. Well, taco seasoning and stuff. So chili. But meatballs. But with meatballs. So meatball stew. No, no, no stew. They just eat meatballs. No, if you're making the, the uh, gravy to go with it. It would make it meatball stew, <laughs> technically. No, that would be a sauce. I guess. If you're going to cook them in it, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you're just going to pour it over, yeah. If you're going to cook them in it, then no. Chili is soup. No, chili is stew. Because it's thick. There's too much stuff in chili. No, there's a reference back to something I had over at Talons when we were, they were making an order from Jason's Deli and got an argument about chili being soup. Oh. Well, I mean, yeah, they sell it. It's a lot of restaurants, too. Well, he was reading back the order, and he said, soup. And he said, no, we want chili. Yeah, chili is soup. <laughs> like, I ain't soup, Nazi. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it just got demonetized. Said the N-word. The other N-word. <laughs> yeah, but you said like it that. in front of a Jew, and I didn't say anything, so. Well, unless you. <laughs> we have fun here. <laughs> hey, Larry. Hey, Chris. Oh, look who's ready to go. <laughs> Hey, Marissa. Well, she's never hey, on the Larry. show, so, you know. Hey, Larry. Hey, Chris. Hey, Marissa. So, what do you have for us today? She even knows the script. It's nothing like working with Larry. Ultimate Edition League of Legends Limited Edition Coke Zero. Oh. So, is it supposed <clears throat> to taste any different than regular Coke? No idea. 
I just remember we didn't have anything to review, so <laughs> I grabbed it. Like, hey, here's another Coke thing. Like we haven't done three this year already. <laughs> I didn't see no hip hop artists on it, so I thought it was okay. Yeah, I actually had that dream uh, again the other day, uh, yesterday or the day before. The one with Klaus? No, not no the the dream Coke. Well, I got my Coke earrings on. Oh, is that what those are? Yeah, these oh, are. Should yeah. with the candle. <laughs> That's where we got them from. Yeah. That's, from inside the candle. Yeah, inside the candle. I'm the scared. candle comes with prizes? <laughs> it did. It did. Wow. Better for 50 fucking dollars to smell like Cherry Coke. Yeah. That smells like Cherry Coke Zero. So I guess these would be Cherry Coke Zero. <laughs> the, no, they're just Cherry, cherry Cokes. Coke. But they, yeah. could, they could probably make a fortune doing that. Selling the Zero versions of their candles and charging $5 more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no difference. What's All right. Well, let's see how this is. It smells like regular Coke. Didn't smell like anything special. I mean, I smell a lot of plastic from the cup, but yeah, it's just well. No, it has a little bit of like a cherry hint or something. It has something in there. Oh wait, it's plus XP flavored. It literally says plus XP flavored. Is that what that tastes like? Oh, apparently. What is XP flavor? I don't know. Let's see: carbonated water, caramel color. Phosphoric acid, natural flavors, sodium oh, benzoate. Natural flavors, that's what it is. Mm-hmm. Asaflame potassium. Ooh, I don't know what it's separate from that. Um, sodium citrate, aspartame, caffeine, sucralose. So, that's, so it has. Contains phenyl, has phenyl, 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 phenyl. artificial and natural sweeteners? <laughs> yes, it has nar- nat- naturally artificial sweeteners. Or artificially natural sweeteners. Either or. Yeah. Not bad. Mm-mm. I'd rather have regular Coke, though. There's something in it, that because it's not your just base Coke flavor. Mm-hmm. But other than that... So what do you add to it to make it XP flavor? That's business. They add a little extra XP. What are you talking about? You get like two... This is like a health potion. They have a room full of Cobalts, and they club them to death with the Coke bottle. There you go. Ship them out. Yeah. That way they have plus XP. Exactly. Just a hint, though. Well, yeah. Just a hint. That was like uh, she bought... Uh, pineapple and coconut, one of those flavored waters mm-hmm. at uh, Little or Lytle or Liddell or whatever. Liddell. That's not like that. Liddell. And um, I you tried want, it. You're going to see Adele? No, we're going to Liddell. No, we're going to Liddell. We're, we're going to go buy some groceries. Uh, it's like going to Target. She bought one of those and I took a sip of it and I was like, that's really, really, really pineapple And then they just said the word coconut at it. So as they're putting them in the case, they're like, coconut, 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 coconut. Or they just have a speaker just going, coconut, 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 and as they're whipping them by. No, they just take one strand of coconut and they dip it in. I don't even think they did that. I think they just talked at it. Because it was such a light flavor of coconut that you could almost not even tell it was there. The pineapple's very subtle. <laughs> Hint of pineapple. All right, well, that wasn't bad. So good, good fall, good find. I mean, but it's if you just want something coke like but a little different. No, I'm not ready for premium. Go fuck yourself. Alrighty then. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's well, they're not going to tell you, Marissa. You know that. I was like, what is that flavor, man? That's what we're trying to figure out. It's XP flavor. It's the same. It's probably the same flavor they dip in there every time they're trying to put out a new variant. Yeah, it's it's. Probably coconut or cherry, or it's probably something that's very. Remember back in the nineties, it was collecting comics, and they had like six variant covers. Yes, and I do know because I used to collect them. And now it's snack products. Yeah, now well, now it's yeah, now it is. It's pretty much anything snacky because they do it for drinks. They're doing it for chips. And I love the ones where they 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 flavor their their chip with some other snack. Like, yeah, funyun flavored chips. Why did I just get funyuns? Maybe you don't want funyuns. Then you wouldn't want those chips. You might want the chips. You might want just the flavor of Funyuns, but not the actual crunchy Funyuns. Yeah, I don't like those. It's a texture thing. It's, I'd rather have a chip. Oh, look. Best of both worlds. Hey. Hey. Apparently, they have another one called Coke Ultimate. That's what, what this that's was. What that's, what that's, that's what that was called? Yeah. Okay. Well, well, well then it, apparently, according to Russo, it certainly wasn't Ultimate. No. no. It was well, not because, the Ultimate Coke Because experience. they said that the flavor of what it is... Is banana laffy taffy? I don't. That wasn't very. I've had banana laffy taffy. No, that's a see. lot stronger I than. That. I mean, yeah, very light. It's very faint. I mean, like that's the thing. 
like what you said, they just kind of like threw one little Laffy Taffy in the giant 300,000 gallon tank. Which immediately you know. clogged up the work. But of coming. course they don't say, they didn't say. No, the acid of the coke will melt that out real quick. Of course they didn't say that on the bottle. They would have been nice if they would have put some. The no, then they would have had to have said Laffy Taffy. Uh oh. It's Banana Taffy. It's not Banana Laffy Taffy. Taffy. Yeah. It's otherwise, you know, trademark. Unless Coke owns it. Yeah, you know, that's still a possibility. Yeah. You know. I don't really feel like looking it up. Nope. And I don't remember bird. And I don't remember seeing it at uh, at the Coke Museum when we were there. Oh, gonna eat that wasp. Nom 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 I don't get it. Well, yeah, it's not on the carpet, so I'm not going for it. Mm. Well, Larry's known for eating stuff out of the carpet. No, but I'm known for not wanting things on the carpet. Who, you? No. There you go. Now it's done. No, no, no. He doesn't like crumbs on the couch either. No, because they get up there all the Then they get on the carpet. They get up all oh. on his backside, and they don't like that either. Yeah, it's like Anakin Skywalker. You know? Oh, the sand thing? Except in his case, it's crumbs. It's crumbs. I hate grooms. So it's coarse; it gets everywhere. Yeah. So all right, there you go. Um, that was pretty good. I mean, I might pick it up myself at some point in time. Um, I just get a Coke. But uh, Coke. Yeah, Coke gonna... Zero. Yeah. Because that was the zero. But uh, oh, the regular one's fabulous. It's much better. <laughs> yeah, it's completely different. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, there you go. I mean, it's good. I might pick it up again if I'm just dying for some soda or something. Was, did you buy the at a, at a convenience store or an actual store? Convenience store. Okay. Which, weirdly enough, because it says That's store right, sure, in store. the name, sorry, it been, makes it an actual store. store. Convenience store. Sorry. <laughs> They're both stores, yes. One's convenience store. What's convenient, one's not. One's exactly. Not. All right, so... Uh, Unless there's somebody playing the lottery, then in which case it's not a convenience store. Cue inconvenience store music. Hey. 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 Hey, Marissa. How are you guys? I'm okay. You're okay? I am. How are you? I'm, I'm, I'm fine. That's good. You sure? No. No? We have any idea what we're doing? Yep. Yeah. Oh. So what are we, what are we doing? It's time for a little metal news. Oh, no. You going to tell us about Slipknot? Well, thanks, spoilers. <laughs> but yes. It's not much of a spoiler. It's coming from you. Yeah. I haven't said anything on it about the uh, on the thing about it yet. Sorry, That's what you're I'm sorry. About. You're gonna talk about war. Well, it's too late now. You can't go back. I can't, but she can't. <laughs> okay, sorry. I can go back and make it say whatever I wanted to say. So, uh, first of all, uh, Slipknot put out a new EP Ugh. called Adderall, and they have a. A video called Memories that came out. It's very weird, very avant-garde, very clown. So will you tell us what EP means again? No. No? I will. You go right ahead then. It's extended play. There you go. Okay, I'm just saying if it's somebody didn't play. know. It's extended play. Okay. Because we had an album that ran longer than your standard album. It could be an EP too. That's true. It could be an XLP, extra long play. We well, you know, one of my bad company albums. It's a single album, which runs over 54 minutes. And I was thinking about it. I was like, well, I originally bought this on CD. There has to be something missing or something. Then to get it on one album. Oh, they put the whole damn thing on there. Mm, there you go. It doesn't sound, I mean, no noticeable loss in quality either. So, mm-hmm, that's good. They've been ripping us off for years and years and years. That's right. So, for uh, this European tour uh, clown, the only founder left of the group is not there because his wife is sick. No. Um, this is good. the second or third time he's done that. And then they parted ways with their uh, another member, their sampler and keyboardist who's been there since the beginning. And they left. 
but right before, literally right before, like the day before the concert or the day of the concert, they announced, they showed a picture of a new guy. So some people are going, are talking, the ridiculous ones are saying, oh, Slipknot's all splitting up. They're never going to play again because, you know, they automatically go right to the most, the worst scenario. The worst scenario. Mm -hmm. But then a lot of others, myself included, are thinking that this new guy with Air Bunnies might actually be the guy they just split ways with. Because it's, it's a pretty similar mask. So we don't know. But uh, Well, if they were going to do that, they'd give him a completely different looking mask. It is. It, it's completely different, but it, I'm saying it's kind of slimmer because the mouth is zipped shut and it's black which is how his other one was. But that's also because the guy never talked. He's not on social media, nothing. And he, he doesn't do interviews. When people interview had interviewed him in the past, he just stared at the uh, interviewee or interviewer. Well, Introducing our new member, Harpo. <laughs> yeah, that would probably be kind of what he is. In a way, he just doesn't have a horn. Freaky, freaky. He does samples and he does noises, basically. Yeah, and keyboardist. Uh, Harper was a good piano player too, but he just didn't get an opportunity to. Well, no, that was Chico's too. job. Yeah, but uh, yeah, and then they put out a new video as well uh, for uh, Death March, which is also really, really creepy. And this is all within the last like four, uh, four or five days. With the new people or old people? Uh, well, it's with the new person, but none of the members of the band are actually in the video. Oh, it's a bunch of mannequins. And it's there. So the, the new guy's on the EP? The new, the new, no, he's not. He's just in the concert. Okay. So Craig is the EP on. EP came out with the old yeah. guys in there. and then Right, yeah. Craig, uh, Craig, the, the, the guy that just left, it, his songs are the ones that are on the EP. So some people are also saying the EP might be in honor of him since he left. And they're like, well, we'll just put out these, you know, these songs because these are the ones you had the most to do with. So basically, like, they're recording and. He got through four songs with him, and then he had to go, and we'll just put those out, and then we'll go ahead and do a new album with the new guy. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Which is what they did. Fair enough. Yeah, but that's what they did with V-Man and Jay, their bassist and drummer, back when they came on. They they did a, a, they had one album that was before everybody left, and then I think it was a, a, another concert season later, they had put out another album, and that was all with all the new guys and everything, with, with the two new guys, so... Before Chris Fenn left and Tortilla Head took his spot. Basically, there's nobody left in the band from back when it first got started except for Clown. But uh, well, he, he owns the band. So, well, hopefully he's like literally. He's their Gene Simmons. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully that member will be able to come back. I mean, after. Who, oh, Clown? After well, his yeah. wife, you know. Gets yeah, I mean, he might be out. going back part way into the tour. We don't even know. Yeah, exactly. I mean, she gets better in the next couple of weeks because the tours in Europe. It's going on for like three months. Well, so he might he show up again real job. soon. So who knows? But uh, so there you go. It could be like, they could do the thing like Sticks does. Uh, <clears throat> their original bass player is not in the best of health. But he, he, he'll come out and play like half a show with them. Yeah. I mean, well, Clown's wife isn't part of the band. She she stays at home and takes well, kids so, in her. I mean, he could like, while his wife is getting better, he might could fly out for a day or two and... Do a show with them and come back. And oh, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And then uh, something that's still music news. Uh, Tenacious D announced a fall U.S. tour date. Really? Yeah. And the picture of them is horrible because they're naked. Hmm. They do that. Yeah, yeah. So is... I don't really want to see Kyle Glass's ass, but there it is. I do want to ask, though. So is Slip not going to come back to the U.S.? Yeah, yeah. of course. Oh, they are? Yeah, they just finished a bunch of tours. Three months. Yeah, at least. Months. At least, I know that. But I they, know just that. A they just finished a bunch. They just finished a bunch of stuff. So they'll come back and then they'll do the Not Fest, and they'll probably be here September, October, maybe November at the latest, right before uh, your birthday. Yeah, right, exactly. Right before December. Right, right before you're this year. Right before the yes. season. Four seats. Right before the season closes out. Right in front too, right, Chris. <laughs> No, because that's like a seven hundred dollars seat. No, cheap. Well, Herb's, you you'll have to sit in the back. <laughs> yeah, I'll be sitting in the grass, sit in the car. 
Larry, this concert is awesome, you, man. As you don't have enough money to park, you'll just have to drive around the block. No, no, the park, when you buy a ticket, parking's free. So I'll buy a ticket for Marissa, and then I'll just stand outside. I'll just have my camping chair just sit out in front of the gates. <laughs> Sir, how come you haven't come in yet? Oh, I could only afford a ticket for my wife. She's, she's down front. Ah. <laughs> All right. Larry, this is so cool. Look at my video, man. <laughs> I'll be there. I'll be there drinking my beer and hitting my vape. You can't stop me. I'm not in the. I'm not in there. <laughs> I, I took a picture that. of him. Had him sign my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. Yeah, Larry. I got my phone signed. Is that okay? <laughs> so uh, I don't care. It's your you, phone. You, so, you probably saw the video. I was watching one of those videos about thrifting yesterday. All the people sending their pictures of their thrift finds. I, I mean, I've seen stuff like that. I didn't see the video. And one person had found a Gabriel Iglesias action figure at the Goodwill, and it was signed. Oh, was it oh. the Funko? Because he signed no, a not, ton it's of not Funko. A Funko. It's, it's a actual says Fluffy. Uh huh. Is the name of the figure right? And it's Gabriel Iglesias, like a um, kind of like a He-Man size figure. Oh, okay. And That's pretty funny. And they tweeted they tweeted the picture to him and asked him if this was legitimate. And he's like. Yeah. <laughs> it's mentioned how humbling it was that he found it at Goodwill. No, yeah, yeah. Signed. <laughs> well, that could be. He said, there was, he said there was only like a thousand of them. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So the yeah. guy probably paid like six bucks there. I think Good. he paid like two. Oh, wow. Even more. Oh, even, oh, wow. Well, even worse and better. Oh, my gosh. Hmm. All right. So there you go. There's some news with some naked old men. Oh, uh, thrown in there and apparently a signed fluffy action figure. That would be cool. So, uh, Q, I guess we need to find Q fluffy music. The next nice. kids will. We need to go see if we can find it. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> I already did my thing. There's a guy over there at the counter had a stack this high of lottery tickets. Scratch offs or the kind you, you know, you just the, buy. The kind you buy. So there's a Buying. machine in there. He had just gone and go beep. Oh, that's a good one. Beep. No. Instead of standing there and forcing them to do it for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why they should just say, okay, from now on, all mis all uh, purchases for. Lottery are done via that those machines that we those. No, I mean it just li limits you to like some number of tickets per well, visit. You know? Or you could say, okay, I want five tickets, but you do like the multiple draws. You, you you do ten draws each ticket, then you'll have as many fucking draws as you want without having a stack of goddamn tickets. And the machine will just go. You must have a system. His system yeah. involves spending like fifty thousand dollars on lottery tickets. Well, that's okay because his system still doesn't win him. Anything. Well, yeah, I'm sure he won like two dollars, five dollars. No, he probably's won twenty dollars. He's probably won a couple of hundred bucks, but he's not hit the actual lottery, or he wouldn't be buying them anymore. I'm a winner. Yeah. Yes, you're a wiener. Here's your five dollars. Go away. I got four percent of my money back. Yeah. Yay! That's a four percent profit. Yay! No, it's not. A, it's ninety-six percent loss. Yeah. Jackass. <laughs> hey, Rizza. Hello, Larry. Hey, Chris. Hey, Rizza. Hey, Larry. What are we doing? Yeah, what are we doing? Today? <laughs> well, you could say it. You know, what do you do for us today? How about that? I've got. Yeah, I just want to cut Larry completely out of the show. I've got. You and me talking about silence. Some Oreos. Some Oreos? They're Oreos that are supposed to be flavored like s'mores. And they've got chocolate and marshmallow chocolate. filling. Shut up. With uh, graham cracker crust uh, cookies. Yay. Well, not crust, graham cracker cookies. I should just no, they did the regular Oreos are just dipped, yeah, just dipped in, dipped in graham cracker. So let's uh, let's open these up here. And that cone in that thing open. Don't get it on the carpet, Marissa. Oh, don't don't get it on the carpet, if, Chris. If not, I'm in trouble. Oops. It smells pretty good. It does. So their ingredients like are. Paper. Sugar, unbleached, enriched flour, wheat flour, niacin, reduced iron, iron, thiamine, mononitrate, vitamin B1, riboflavin, vitamin B2, 
folic acid, palm oil, soybean, and or canola gram flour. Duh. <laughs> but that's way down the list. Uh, whole grain wheat flour, high fructose corn syrup, cocoa. There's a lot of graham cracker on here. Salt. salt. I don't know. Uh, baking soda or floof soda. You did it wrong. What? Baking soda. Salt. I did say salt the correct way. You just weren't paying attention. <laughs> Uh, caramel colors, soy lecithin, natural and artificial flavor includes cinnamon. Uh, well, the cinnamon right? no. uh, wheat and uh, contains wheat and soy, and they're made in uh, I mean, they're uh, distributed out of Hanover, East Hanover, New Jersey. How are you with celery? Contains a bioengineered food ingredient. Ooh, what's that? Can we get to guess which one? I mean, what is it? I don't know, but it contains Bio. one. Okay. Bioengineered graham cracker. Yes. Where are you going? Oh. We, can, we can make it stronger. We can make it faster. Why do you need a six, fast? The $6 million cookie? Why do you need a faster graham cracker? Sweet. Yeah. I like the double filling. They're not super s'moresy, but they're good. Oh. Okay. It's definitely different than your regular Oreo Oreo Oreo. No, no, yeah, I get it. I get it. You get a little bit of marshmallow on there, a little bit of chocolate. Yummy. But still manages to taste like an Oreo. Weird, weirdly enough, yeah. I and mean, I mean, like, because anybody who eats Oreos, you always, not everybody, but a lot of people just separate them and scrape off the filling from the inside, then eat the cookie. The Oreo gram cookie. You can actually almost do it. You can is, almost separate the two the fillings. It's not really, really grammy, but it, it is a little bit. You can almost separate the fillings. Almost, yeah. I think I need, I need to try a second one. I don't want to try one. One? Yeah, I need to do a second one. See what they're talking about. What? Yeah. Maybe. We've got one up, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe Chris wanted another one. Does that another one? I like that. I do, too. It's a limited edition. Of course. But then Oreos has like 40 flavors out there that are regular now anyways. Birthday cake and chocolate and chocolate covered and lemon and uh, what's it? Uh, chocolate chip, uh, mint just, chocolate chip. I mean, so yeah. Let's kill off one of those flavors and put this one. In. Yeah, get, let's get rid of the uh, the mint one. And put this out. There's a lot of people who are very passionate about mint chocolate chip, although I don't know why. I mean, it's yeah, it's tasty, but I don't, I don't care for the mint. I, I like I like these better, as opposed to just chocolate mm. chip. I should say. They also had a uh, blackout cake Oreos too. I got the s'mores. What's, what's the other one? The other I think one it's chocolate on chocolate. chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chocolate, chocolate. Yeah. Chocolate dip chocolate. Mm -hmm. Could be. Well, those are really it's good. It's the chocolate in it. So go to your local wherever market. Chocolate, chocolate chip cookies dipped in chocolate. Because if you like s'mores, like grab these s'moreos. Like they said it was black out. Yeah, like it's probably, cake. It's probably so it's, it's a chocolate like a fudge. chocolate like a chocolate fudge cake or something. Yeah, so it's probably the, it's the chocolate cookie with the chocolate filling, mm -hmm. but they probably like up the chocolatiness. Mm -hmm. Or not? Yeah, yeah, maybe. yeah, I don't know. So, all right. Well, that was good. That's uh, three thumbs up or six thumbs up from the three of us. So, mm -hmm. hey, six thumbs up. That's, that's good. Well, we each got two hands. With hopefully two ten, thumbs. ten fingers and say it's it's a ten star product. Ten star product. Ten star. But it's thumbs up. Well, I'm gonna give it all my fingers. Ten ten fingers. Fine, I'll give it two of my fingers, but it won't be the thumbs. <laughs> I thought you liked it. I did. You just hated, Mar you just hated Bruce's review. He, exactly. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh well. All right, so a Q fourteen finger. Up uh, review music. And there you have it, another episode of Achieving Reality is the podcast done. I enjoy doing these things. It is a lot of fun. I do not know about any things that went on because I was not there, so oh, yeah. I have nothing else to say. I am very boring tonight. You know, it's just, just nothing going on. And Larry kind of left me in, you know, in the, in the shit pile. So, whatever. 
for uh, Chris and Marisa in parentheses, Larry, ooh, and everyone else involved, I am Klaus saying, don't play with your Wiener Schnitzel unless you're in front of me, ooh. Hello, Skip. Hey there, listeners. Larry here. If this is your first time listening, then, hey, how's it going? If you're listening with a friend or just kind of ran into us, I can help you find us some more. You can find us by searching on Spotify or Podbean by typing in Achieving Reality in the search bar, or you can go on Facebook and type in Achieving Reality and find us that way. Thanks a whole lot, and keep enjoying the show. We love you all. Coconut, coconut, coconut.